crazy hot. Look, head's sunburn. I should have a hat on. I'm sweating. It's like a thousand degrees outside today. Today, I took a little different trip. All right, so today I'm in the Lafayette cemeteries in the Garden District in New Orleans. And it's interesting that the planning for this cemetery began in 1832, and it has been um, active since 1833. Of course, I find that amazing. One of the other things is the Lafayette Cemetery here, this is Lafayette number one, is broken into four quadrants. And another interesting fact is it was in the planning for Lafayette City, which later became the Garden District. And last week, we talked about the Garden District as we went on a tour on some of the gardens. We're gonna do that again here just shortly. Because New Orleans is below sea level, all of the tombs are raised. If you wanted to be buried in soil, they used coping tombs. And in the 1800s, there were soil merchants that would ship soil in from around the world so that someone could be buried in their home country's earth. And there are some great angels and decorative and ornate pieces. If I'm not mistaken, there's actually even a cast iron tomb in here. So let's go take a look around. The Lafayette Cemetery is predominantly filled with family tombs. There are some notable residents, like Brigadier General Harry T. Hayes, who led the first Louisiana Brigade during the Civil War. Twenty-six nationalities. It's not broken down by race or religion. It's tombs are just everywhere. It's in four quadrants. Originally Lafayette City, which now is the Garden District. As you explore the cemetery, you will find these interesting log-like sculptures. These are markers of the Woodmen of the World fraternal organization, which later became an insurance company. If you're coming to New Orleans, you have to visit the Lafayette Cemetery. It's a few short minutes from downtown, an easy streetcar ride, get off at Washington Avenue, walk down to Britannia, and the entrance is just almost directly across from Commander's Palace. 
If you're in New Orleans and you need some guide tips, please hit us up at Facebook at The Garden Gates, Instagram at The Garden Gates. Thanks again. Share with your friends. Like, comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.